waves video in this one we're looking particularly at the topic of sound it's a very obvious question what is sound and a very obvious answer sound is produced when any object or substance vibrates so when i'm talking to you the thing that's vibrating are the vocal cords in my throat they're vibrating and they are producing sound now the key thing is this sound waves can only travel through a solid a liquid or a gas sound cannot travel through empty space so up there in space sound you wouldn't hear sound it can't be transmitted when you see these spaceships exploding on these films and you hear it it's actually wrong you can't actually hear the sound of the explosions in space it's very famous film had the tagline no one can hear you scream in space so sound waves are what we call longitudinal waves this is well worth jotting down sound waves are longitudinal waves what does this mean it means that the vibrations are in the same direction as a direction of travel hmm, does that sound confusing well we can show this using what we call a slinky I hope you've seen a slinky, they're great fun. Slinkies are long springs. Here's a slinky here. Okay, they're very, very long springs. And to show longitude waves, you stretch it at each end. So you would hold it here and your friend would hold it there. Then what happens is you would flick one end. So at one end, the hand is flicked. What that does, it causes a movement in the spring. Can you see here? Now, this is a, what we'll call a compressed area. Notice that the, the parts of the spring are pushed closer together. So number one, notice how a compressed air is formed in the spring. Now that compressed area, if you were to watch this in a slinky, you'd see it traveling all the way along the slinky to get to part two, or section two there. This compressed air then travels along the length of the spring. So you flick it, you get a compression, and that travels in along the length of the spring. Now what it's doing, the vibrations are traveling from one to two, they're transferring energy. So energy is being transferred from here where it's flicked along here to two. So energy is being transferred in the same direction as the spring is moving. Hmm, very important that. Now, this compression is exactly what happens when particles carry sound energy to our ears. Let's have a look at that. Here we've got a loudspeaker. Now inside the speaker, in here, you've got a diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm vibrates back and forth when the sound is being produced. So the electrical silicon in here gets changed to vibrations, vibrations, there we go, vibrate away. What they do is they actually cause the particles in front to vibrate as well. So of course the speaker's vibrating. Don't forget there are zillions of particles between the speaker and your ear. And some of these particles in front vibrate as well. And they form, as in Slinky down here, a compression so this bit here is number one a compression there but don't forget we do need these particles remember what we said earlier sound is only transmitted when particles are present in solids liquids and gases so don't forget that bit so the sound is transmitted to our ears as a series of compressed particles so note in the slinky how this compression here there's compression and it's passed along so this compression gets passed along between the particles until it reaches your ears. Now, the compressed particles reach our ears and they cause the eardrum deep inside, where's my point of this? Deep inside here on the eardrum and that vibrates. And that gives us awareness of sound. Notice we've got areas between the compressions where the particles are spaced out. So your compressions, now these are bits are called rarefactions, but we'll talk about that at a later date. So areas between the compressions called rarefactions, but as I said, that's another, another story and nothing to worry about at this stage. So, some key words, a longitudinal wave, a wave that moves in the same direction in which the particles are vibrating. I hope you understand that now from the diagrams. And compression is an area where particles are compressed close together. So copy those keywords down into your vocab sheet.
Well, that's the end of this Key Stage 3 science video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really do hope you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, why not visit my website at www.keystage3sciencecourses.com. There you'll find over 120 science videos you can subscribe to. So, once again, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.